Does your fish have ick? Then don't stress out because I've got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you three ways to defeat ick in your aquarium and get them off the fish. I'll also be simplifying the life cycle of the ick too, so you get to know a bit more about what's killing your fish. But make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss out on any important info. And because at the end of the video, I'll be giving you the way that I killed ick in my aquarium and how long it took. And consider subscribing as I do weekly aquarium videos that I think you'll enjoy. But without any further ado, let's get started. Now before we get into the life cycle and the methods to tell if your fish has ick is really easy. In appearance, your fish will usually have these white grainy dots on them. It kind of looks like pieces of salt and they'll be sprinkled on the fins, body, basically anywhere. And if you see that, that's pretty bad. Your fish might also be itching themselves on objects of the tank. That's them trying to get it off and it can also damage their body quite easily. They also have clamped fins and excess mucus. It's a pretty horrible parasite and it's very contagious so you want to act as quick as possible when you see any of these symptoms on your fish. Okay so the life cycle of ick is pretty simple. Basically what's going to happen is it'll come into your tank from transporting a fish or an object from a different tank that had ick in it. And this can easily come from a local fish store, so make sure you check your fish and make sure the aquarium that you're buying your fish from doesn't have any fish with ick in it or else it could really mess up your fish stock. But to simplify it, basically it's going to come into the tank and it's going to go into the gravel or the substrate and lay their eggs in there. Then the eggs are going to hatch and then the babies will come all over the tank and they'll start feeding on the fish. Now, ick is a parasite, so it has a parasitic relationship with the fish, meaning that it's going to benefit being attached to the fish, but the fish is going to be harmed in that process. So to stop this is really easy, and here are three methods to do this, and you'll be able to perform at least one of these methods in your aquarium, so don't worry, and let's get into it. Now, this first method is pretty easy. All it is is putting aquarium salt in the water. That'll kill the ick. But here's the thing. If you have aquarium plants in your tank, then you can't do this. So with your planted aquarium, this method won't work and will melt your aquarium plants. So what you do is buy some aquarium salt from your local fish store. Make sure it's specifically for aquariums, but you can do your research further and put in any salt you can get from your supermarket. That'll also work the same. And then from there, you just take the directions it says like from an online website or something specific to the salt you're using and then boom within a few weeks you should be able to control that it but i couldn't perform this method because i had a lot of live plants in my aquarium so i had to move to a different method now method two can be a bit pricey but this next method is to just get some treatment from your local fish store. Now, there's all sorts of different brands out there that have ick treatment labeled differently. You just got to ask your local fish store which one is best for ick and they should help you out there. But you just use the directions it says on the bottle. It's pretty straightforward and it should work. It usually does tell you on the packet too on how long it might take to kill the ick. But it's a very reliable source and you can also just search up reviews on all different sorts so you can decide which one you want to get. Now, the downside about the treatments is usually they use copper to take care of the ick. If you have scaleless fish like plecos or corydoras, then you're probably not going to be able to perform this method. It's going to kill the fish and since I have bristlenose plecos in my aquarium, I couldn't perform this method either and therefore it can be pretty hard because I know a lot of people do have bristlenose plecos. So if you do have a bristlenose catfish or a corydoras, any fish that doesn't have scales, then you'll have to move on to one of the next methods. So I'm actually going to give you four methods of treating ick. So this next method is simply just feeding your fish garlic. Garlic works really well because what it's going to do is it's going to make the fish sweat inside. Therefore, the ick will not want to be on the host, which is the fish, and it'll detach and probably die if it doesn't find any body that isn't sweating. So if you can feed all your fish garlic, then the ick's going to be outpowered. Therefore, you're going to kill it. But this can be a very tricky method because it's almost impossible to feed your fish garlic. They're not going to eat it and it does smell out the room that you have your fish in. So this isn't really a great method and that's why I've got this alternative which I think you'll really benefit from and it's possible to do with almost any situation you're in. Raising the temperature up to 30 degrees Celsius which is around 84 degrees Fahrenheit will kill the ick. Now why does this kill ick? What this is going to do is quicken the life cycle of the ick. People probably think that because of that 
they're going to breed faster and therefore populate the tank even quicker. But what's actually going to happen is once the temperature is over 30 degrees Celsius, then it's not going to be able to reproduce. So its life cycle will quicken, it'll try breed, that means it'll die quicker, in fact, within a week. And because of that, they're not going to be able to reproduce, so they're all going to die pretty quickly. Make sure that it's consistent all over the tank. I had two heaters in just one 20 gallon tall aquarium, but you want to need to keep this consistent so you can kill this ick really quickly. And this is a method I use. It took me a week and a half to get rid of this ick, but I did have a day where the temperature dropped because we had a power outage. It should be pretty quick for you, probably even quicker. It's a really simple method, but because the temperature is going to be high, there's going to be less oxygen in the water. So make sure there's lots of water movement and your fish should have plenty of oxygen. But it's really that simple and to be safe, make sure that the fish you have in your aquarium can go up to that temperature. But usually it's okay with almost any aquarium fish. But this was the method that I used and I managed to successfully kill the ick in my aquarium pretty easily and I hope you did enjoy the video and benefit from it. And let me know if any of these methods do work for you. And if you did enjoy the video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. But have a great day, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.